Beast Mode Paul has stopped me from winning more locals than any other player in CFL, and today we're going to be watching him stopping two elite players win their regional, those two players being Riddles and Black Twins. We're going to be watching Beast Mode Paul versus both of those players. Let's go! Hero is so fun to watch. I hate playing against him because he's, he's just so good. Paul is ridiculous. It's been a good year for Hero, especially with Akka's showing at Genesis with all the wins he got. But let's get into the Beast Mode Paul versus Canada Arc. This was at Gourmet Bash 3, which again was just a regional, but hey, Battle of BC is next week, so this means a lot for some confidence, starting off with the side B immediately. Again, it is very hard to fight Beast Mode Paul, and here, of course, in general, just because having to look at different places on uh, the screen all the time, all the time, is very difficult, but Paul is so good at it, and he also just reads ridiculously fast. Like, I don't know what it is, he's able to read like, faster than it makes even sense to read your menu options, considering it's not like they're all going to be the same. Uh, so already with a 94 to 40 lead, has Terry in go? Is he going to be able to get a kaboom for a kill? No, that might be? Okay, good SDI, or maybe the spacing was off from the initial down tilt, so Riddle's not able to get much. And again, that Terry is elite, has won against so many amazing players, the really fast projectile and Sizz coming out, yet <laughs> literally Riddle's having to preemptively... Um, you know, it's like air dodge and spot dodge because he doesn't know which projectiles are there because it's harder to read as fast. Like, it's basically impossible to read as fast as Paul. That is going to hit Paul smartly dropping shield there. Otherwise, it would have been a shield break into a stock and really, really good DI on that uh, power geyser. And there's a back air. Not going to be the stock, but is it going to be the edge guard? No. Yeah, mistimes the side B, so a wake up Buster Wolf is going to be the first stock for riddles. Nice parry. Parries on both ends, but not going to parry that back air. So what's the edge guard going to be? No, tries to commit low because that's where Riddles recovered last time. But that's not going to be enough at the moment. Oh no, Riddles putting himself off stage. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Riddles is extending this lead quite far. I think at the ledge, this will be death percent. Maybe I'm biased because I play a light character. Oh, but that psych up is going to mean so many things kill with its back air or, you know, a grab or a forward tilt. Basically anything is going to kill, especially that 161% of Terry. But he's just not getting hit. He's simply just playing better. Okay, there's the forwarder. Mixing up the timing from the very low falling aerial to the slightly higher aerial uh, is going to be a big difference when it comes to like parry timings or just like people not needing to shield yet. That's a combo? Is that only a combo because Accelerattle makes your like weight and gravity weird? Or is that always a, th is that always a thing, chat? Riddles with a very comfortable lead, but we all know Hero is a really good comeback character. Well, that is not the correct DI, but maybe you wanted to avoid the platforms or just took the, er the easier combo. Damn, Riddles is playing super well right now. Like, that's one of the scary things about Hero, though, is, like, sometimes you're playing well and then it just snowballs out of your control, either because of uh, spells or just because of crit or just the Hero player can start doing really good stuff. And that was a thwack to try to get an early kill at, like, 40-something for Hero, but it didn't land its mark there. Okay, it's the spot dodge. Yep, there should be an edge guard. There's the kaboom. That's going to be stock. Absolutely. 124. Can Paul bring it back? He has 4 MP, so he's not able to use any side bees or anything right now. So he just has to get a raw sword hit for this MP. There he goes. Got it. Well, that's going to be a lot of MP. He's chilling probably for the rest of the game now, unless he specifically does like a kaboom. That flame slash would have been ridiculous if that was a DI in. That would have been so crazy. But Riddles with that lead clutches up. Game one goes to him. Do you think Paul can make a comeback? Well, I believe you can at least go down and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. Let's go to game two. I don't know if that up throw, up air, up B is always a combo or if you can DI away from it. So maybe Paul getting caught off guard. Okay, and up he had a shield coming out. That did not happen at all game one, but Terry's stuff is so safe that it's not technically guaranteed. I don't know if Riddles, or sorry, I don't know if Paul knows the correct way to DI the Terry uh, throws. But we have Psych up online, so this can be a pretty easy shield break, especially with the Flame Slash. Gonna sizzle to try to get back. Forward air hitting that burn knuckle, knowing that uh, Riddles likes to be aggressive on calling people's uh, jumps out, so. You know, makes sense. There's a Kaboom, gonna just, you know, keep the stage for Paul, but it's not gonna matter right now. 31%, uh, sorry, 33% separate these two players. It was 31, but then the bubble percent, I think, happened. Nice roll. Side B, not gonna kill. Ooh, great up tilt by Paul. Surprised it would kill Terry. I mean, he does have rage on him, so I guess it makes a little bit of sense. It's just, I typically expect things like that to kill, like, a lot later. Ooh, caught Paul doing nothing. There we go. I was going to say I'm biased from Pico weight, so sometimes I'm like, that's not going to kill. Oh, no, it's just strong, and I die also super early. 
with a kaboom is going to drag riddles but not actually going to hit you know the wind box is strong but sometimes it doesn't get you into the actual hit box there's a nair no double jump on terry right now i was gonna say yeah riddles likes to mash down there so uh paul able to get that punish not gonna be able to get an edge guard though and the very end of that crack shoot getting the hit that should be stock Good SDI by Paul. I think if he air dodged up, he would have got out of that because I think he did land on uh, Terry. So that is going to be a stock lead for Rid. Never mind. It's an even game for Riddles and Paul. Going to zoom to just get out of the invincibility. I actually like that a lot. Oh, 44% already with double nair and a bang. He actually got down to the ground early enough to up tilt. That was a good auto cancel aerial as well. And this suddenly, like, this is kind of just what happens against Paul. Sometimes it's even, it's even, it's even. How am I down 100%? What happened? Then he gets psych up, and then you just die to, like, a flame slash shield break, and you're just like, oh, great, sick. Or a back air at 83. I was going to say Terry's, like, really heavy. I'd be super surprised if that worked. Great spacing around the crack shoot, though. He hasn't got hit this entire stock again. He was down this stock first. So, you know, this is just the power of Paul. Oh, great interruption by Riddles, 55%. This will be a Buster Wolf kill if it's at the ledge. Forward air, though, is going to put Riddles off stage. Can he recover? Yes, he can. No, but he doesn't get off the ledge. Paul is so good at spacing and timing that back air, catching the rolls. Game 3 going to go to Hollow Bastion, allowing Riddles to have that center platform above him so he doesn't have to worry about those landing arrows. But at the same time, it will allow Paul to be under that platform as well and rolling spells, uh, you know, if Riddles is trying to approach with any aerials. And we see now Paul is the one in the center. How can Riddles approach? Okay, with a crack shoot. Simple. Doesn't get the uh, uppy afterwards. I don't know if he just didn't go for it, but... Forward throw. Almost at... Ooh, wait, that was so... What could what could Riddles have done there? Obviously, he got Flame Slash, which is like a pretty good uh, move to get there. But I mean, it could have been Kaboom, could have been Bang, Sizzle. could have been a lot of things. But the Flame Slash, I don't know the timing that Riddles could have recovered there and not got hit by that. And again, you do get your double jump back when you have zoom, so gonna have a lot of resources in that situation. Okay, no, oh god, I was gonna say no double jump, still no double jump, flame slash, just go out there. No, he's not gonna go out there, tries to get the thwack, but the power dunk doesn't reach the stage, and I think he needed to do the powered up, or like the hold a motion power dunk, uh, to get through the thwack, but he just doesn't land. I don't know if there was a win box or anything attached to that, but... Paul's up a lot. This is, again, what happens. I've taken game one from Paul and been super confident, been up game two, and then suddenly I get three stocked game three and four, and I'm just like, oh, okay, sick. Or you like, you know, or like getting, th I start getting three stocked, even if I don't end up getting three stocked. Like, look at this. What do you do? <laughs> He's so good. Up B, that's going to be the up smash. No, it didn't hit. Barely. Again, still has Psych Up online, because Psych Up is online until they hit either the shield or the body with a physical attack. That should be a smash attack. No, the lag on the uppy too little. I know that all too well from uh, my set with Riddles at CEO. Okay, DI'd the down throw correctly, but Riddles still got the tech chase. Can he start bringing this back? I mean, again, he's down quite a lot, but Riddles is still one of the goats of the game, you know what I'm saying? And he's about to have go on him, which will allow him to get some very early kills. Back throw, go is online. Will he be able to get back to the stage? No, just the psych up up tilt. That killed at 100. Clean. That's the power of hero, baby. Oh, okay, so uh, Riddle's gonna go Kazuya. I think he wanted the higher mobility as Terry to kind of get around the spells in mid-range, but I don't think that was really working very much, so now Riddle's is trying to get back to the ground, but these aerials are not landing their mark. The invincibility on that dash was not enough to get through the fireball either. It was a little too slow, and also, counterpicking to town, I just realized this is a very, very good hero stage. This is hero's best stage by far. Um because he gets to fish for those up -bees onto platform, and it just combos into up tilt or up smash, depending on the percent. No psych up, but Riddle's not able to get a bigger combo. 120%, he still has that rage art, but he doesn't have the stock anymore, so that is a two stock, sorry, a stock lead for Paul, my bad. Down throw. Electric still worked. There's the combo, you should be dead. Ooh, no, messes up the up smash and gets up back tilt? I'm not even sure what the input was that he got. Interesting. Well, that's an unlucky break there, and then gets double side beat for his troubles, and that's exactly how this game can kind of swing. Oh my god, dude. He was at 15, like, six seconds ago, and then he went to 87 in, like, three seconds. That's ridiculous. He just took 70 damage in three seconds. 
Oh man, that's what happened against Paul. You mess up one time, and of course that's like a really big mess up. And yeah, that's probably just gonna spiral the rest of the game. A bang, gonna hit the platform, so Riddle's not able to land on there, has to air dodge the sizzle. And then of course, because he air dodged, the recovery gets a lot simpler, so Paul is able to take the stock. No MP on him right now. Again, messes up another uh, kill. I don't know if his fob is acting up, I don't know what's going on, but that is very unlike Riddles. But he finally does get the stock after losing an unnecessary stock after that drop. So, is he gonna be able to equalize? No, he messes up the electric too. Gets the double nair, but Hero's recovery is very good. Let's see if Riddles can get some type of edge guard. He gets the nair, but it wasn't the spike hit. So, okay, he's still bringing it back though. The laser is gonna get the kill, so that was a stock. That was like a not even Kazuya stock stock. Accelerattle is also going to be extra good for Hero in this matchup because the, ele the down throw electric no longer works and the electric combos get a lot more awkward because of the different uh, gravity situations. So... <laughs> 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 I've been holding a net sneeze this entire game. Oh, that side B barely not hitting for Paul. Snoo's not going to land its mark. He is still winning, but again, this got very close very quickly. Great adaptation there with the up E into the back air, knowing that Riddles wasn't going to hit it by the up tilt or the up smash, maybe because of the weight. There's another Snooze has to shield. Rage Art is online. Kaboom not going to hit. Paul only with 26 MP left, but that's still enough to get a couple of the important moves. Great spacing right now. There's the electric. You Oh no, he messes up the combo again. That should have been stock. Uh, I don't think this kills. And he messed it up. Okay, that is going to kill. Nice rage drive. I'm surprised. I'm very surprised that Riddles equalized that game, given how uh, rough those inputs were. But that is also the power of Kazuya Mishima. Win! So we got a game five, Riddles versus Beast Mode Paul back to town. Again, it is also a good Kazuya stage, so... It makes sense that Riddles is able to bring it back on one of his most comfortable stages. Again, that was his counter pick, and now it is Paul's counter pick. Great damage right there for Riddles, but doesn't get uh, any type of drag down to continue the combo there. But still, 45 to 41, very close game. There's a snooze, down air, up tilt. Great damage, and of course, he's just going to go into the menu because he cannot get anything more. And uh, that up air is not going to be good enough in advantage, so might as well just drop back down to the floor. Psych up is online, not going to hit that tech chase, and now we have a ledge trap situation. No, Paul kind of backs up, but Riddles holds forward all the way onto the platform into that back air. Oh, he's missing up some electrics though. He's getting just, uh, you know, Wind God Fist instead of the electric Wind God Fist. And that could have been two potential stocks. Jab, jab, check for Paul, not gonna get it. And he's just trying to space out this Kazuya right now. 43%, any one hit can be the stock. The jabs won't though. Side B from Paul. Yeah, he's walling out this Kazuya right now. It has been very difficult for uh, riddles to get in that should be the stock double up tilt though not gonna get the kill okay back throw yeah tried to get a side b on a quick landing rage art is online for um riddles but he doesn't want to use it this stock because he wants it as a comeback factor there's the up e stage spike getting that there's a psych up this is going to make paul so scary for the entire rest of the game there's a back air just straight up kills and that is a full stock lead for uh beast mode paul Jab check. Gets another psych up. Is this going to be the stock? No, he does DI away, which was a little awkward because he was kind of floating above the stage. He does have that full stock neutral B. Is he going to use it? I thought that was going to be it with the air dodge. I can't believe he didn't let it go there. I don't know if it would have killed, but... You know, sorry that your charge shot might not kill at 45. Riddles trying very patiently to find an opening. Gets the hit there, but that's not going to combo on the town platforms. That up smash not going to kill again. The high ceiling is going to help there. Ledge hop zap is so hard to deal with. The range is ridiculous. Oh, great movement by Riddles and gets the electric into up smash. We have a last stock game, 64%. The platforms are appearing, but it is the transformation too. So, you know, not gonna actually have anything in the middle of the stage to interrupt. For Paul, there's a sizzle, I think it was, that did like 35. And Paul just trying to wait for a good option. Kaboom punishes the laser. No MP on Paul, but psych up online. So a forward air or back air in the corner will kill. He's giving up all this space because he does not want to deal with the Kazuya combo. I think he's literally just camping out uh, for this platform because he, you know, worst case, he's getting MP. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, Riddles does not want to approach here uh, aggressively, but gets the electric. No, it didn't combo, and Paul picked a panic option that Riddles was not ready for. He expected him to roll, but he doesn't, and there's going to be the dash back forward air, and he's going to get the kill. What a set there between Beast Mode Paul and Riddles, and that put Beast Mode Paul into Grand Finals, where he had to play the person who knocked him into loser's bracket, Black Twins. 
Ew, why'd that combo? So that combo ended the set one of Grand Finals, so we're going to be watching set two of Grand Finals Beast Mode Paul versus Black Twins' is Aegis. Okay, so Black Twins did beat Paul two games with Aegis, and then uh, Paul started bringing it back and then got that fifth game with uh, the Pichu. So that is the hero, or sorry, that is the context we have for this set. So starts Aegis, you know, I think uh, given the fact that Riddles was in Losers Finals, I assume that means Black Twins also beat Riddles. So, you know, Black Twins playing very, very well recently, has been very up to form, if not peak form currently. So, okay, misses the tech chase there. And the speed of Aegis is obviously going to be great at not letting Hero menu all that much. Okay, no up B combos are going to work for uh, Black Twins right now because of that bounce, because it will reflect the up B projectile, and currently these fireballs are making it very difficult for Paul and that crackle slash two frame and going to bounce off of the ledge as well, so that is going to be the first stock for Paul. It's funny that with Accelerado they basically have the same speed, <laughs> Mithra and Hero. Kaboom for the ledge trap. Actually, really, really good timing on the roll. Forward air for Black Twins, but again, that zoom is going to get him out of that scary position almost entirely. Forward throw. Doesn't have a lot of MP for the higher damage spells. Just goes for forward throw, no forward smash, and goes for a psych up. It trades with the up. The fact that Uppy went through that is crazy. Like, just that it reached insanity. But right now, Paul is with a huge lead right now, up a stock, and has Black Twins at 93%, and there isn't anything like Rage Art uh, that gives you a benefit at 100%, so that means that Paul's lead is just massive, over 100% now for Black Twins. What is he going to be able to get here? Nothing, but gets the forward air on the getup attack. His ledge traps are so scary, because you also don't want to give him a bunch of time, because if you give him time, then he just backs up and starts menuing, and then you might get, like, kaboomed, you might get flame slashed or something like that, so it's, it's just a bad position to be in overall smart able to kind of uh add a shield the disadvantage swing after that okay gets the uppy from the down throw is he gonna be able to yeah try to advantage just with a long lasting pyra up air but not gonna hit anything forward tilt stuffing out the movement for paul there's a bounce again and also just for reference you do want bounce just to get rid of it in your menu so you're not really worried about seeing it for the next 10 or 15 seconds i forget how long it lasts Oh, that would have been such a good spike from Black Twins, but barely off of the mark there. And a side B is going to establish again momentum for Paul. Tried to run up jab check after closing the menu. There's a snooze, not going to hit. Forward tilt is, though. Again, he's just so often right in these scramble situations, which is crazy because that frame data is not good. It's like a Shulk player winning all the scrambles without Monado. It's insane. Oh, great read by Black Twins. The patience and advantage was super good there. Gets an up tilt, but not going to push the advantage any farther. But gets a back throw, so, you know, still in a good position. That uh, dash track not going to hit. Tries to downer two frame. Not going to get it. Uh, flame Slash is going to be like, what, 20%? Sizzle. He's just trying to get all the damage he can because he's still up a stock. So he wants you at death percent so he can psych up the next stock and then just be in a very, very good position. Still is in a good position even though he's off stage. Uh, but again, this isn't that scary because if you die, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Unless you're Black Twins. If you die, then it's the game. That's a two stock for Paul. Black Twins was thinking hard between the games to know if he wanted to swap characters. But Paul... Paul's a hero player that plays Sephiroth for like three matchups, and that's about it. And again, Paul, I made a couple videos on him last year. He's had some crazy wins this year, especially at port priority. So, you know, it's not like this is his first big, you know, victories at ever, but it is probably his biggest tournament win. I think I think he's maybe won one in like Alabama or something that was like a B tier or something like that. Um, and he did really well at Santa Paws. Uh, beating Shiny Mark there as well. So, you know, Paul is definitely just in the conversation for one of the best players in North America at this point, as in like a top 15 North America player, something like that. And he's showing it right now, especially beating someone that's just a top 10 player in the world in uh, Riddles right now. Nice parry on the Pyra Downer. He's going to get a punish here. Buffing up because again, Black Twins doesn't want to instantly recover because it's predictable. But then if it's, if you're not doing that and Paul's right, he just menus a bunch. That side B off ledge is so good. Runs up and interrupts the side B actually, crazy. Kaboom would have been a little too close. You see Paul backing up to like that position, like barely to the side of the platform, like on the inside of it. It's because that's where you can do Kaboom and stuff very effectively. Plus it's obviously just far enough away. You can still get side B um, and you're not really gonna get punished by any like ledge hop aerial. The double empty hop, like one from Black Twins, one from Paul. Gets around the edge guard though with the swap. That was so good by Black Twins. 
yeah, gets a grab. He gets so many grabs just because people instinctively hold shield against menu, but again, he's so much faster and so much more ready, and the psych up across the stage is going to easily kill for Beast Mode Paul. Ooh, up tilt just covered everything there, straight up. So, great option coverage for Paul. Tries to get out of there with the Accelerattle. Does get a back air, tried to hit a double jump with the downer, but he's not going to hit it, and wasn't close enough for that psych up to do anything. Yeah, no edge guard available because of that zoom. It's so good. It's so frustrating if you're the player that isn't Paul. But as a Paul fan, I'm a, I like those zooms. And that sizzle, not going to hit the air dodge though, but that he's just going to run off and forward it because he knows that Black Twins is so far away that he has to do a very specific type of recovery, very similar to what happened in that Riddle's position. Uh, so that's going to be it for the second stock. Gets the tech chase down air. Dude, he's playing so well. Uh, and again, he also had to beat not Brayden before this, and I don't know who his loser's quarter set was. Um, but, you know, Paul is just playing crazy this tournament, has a lot of good wins so far. And again, he did already beat Black Twins in set one for already getting the run back uh, from the winner's set. Forward air, absolutely going to kill, especially with that DI from Paul. Oh, empty jump grab there was so good. I was paying attention to the menu to see if he would get anything big, and that's what Paul was doing, but... He's still somehow ready for all of these dash-ins in these positions, dude. It is crazy how cognizant he is of all of these positions. 2-0 for Paul and Black Twins tries to pull out the Pichu just like how he did in Winner's Bracket. But can he reverse 3-0? We already know who I'm making this video for, so I don't know. Like, I think the, obviously the thing is, especially, I mean, I'm a Pikachu player, so I understand is you can get some pretty big edge guards when Hero doesn't get zoom, uh, because you can thunder the up B, and especially Pichu's, because it will always send the direction he wants. That can be a huge boon for the matchup, but at the same time, you're light, you're squishy, so getting around all of these random Paul things without taking a bunch of chip damage to kill you, that was really good DI by Black Twins. But, like, those type of positions are just scary as hell for Pichu. I forgot I was wearing blue light glasses. I was like, why does the game literally look different? I'm like, oh, it's because it's not, uh, <laughs> the color is different. There's down throw up air thunder. Very, very good combo for Pichu. And there's going to be a Nair. Doesn't have enough MP. Sorry, doesn't get the zoom. He actually did have enough MP to get the zoom, but he just didn't find it. So that's a stock lead for Black Twins. <laughs> Using the shield to stop the T-Jolt. Very smart by Paul on that forward tilt. Is going to clean up the spot, the stock, especially with Psych up. So has the ledge trap, but again, that ledge hop side B is just so difficult. You have to respect so much space, and then if you do, then he just gets to ledge jump for free, which isn't exactly what you want. Um, yeah, reading the swing twice did Black Twins, so that's going to be a good 40. Was that? He was at, no, he, okay, he was at 10, so that did 36%. I was like, there's no way that simple combo did 46%. The fact that 40 does 18 is kind of insane. Gonna shield the Kaboom. Paul a little low on mana. I mean, 37 is plenty, uh, but you know, he's not in the most comfortable position in terms of mana. And then gets a tech chase. Black Twins not able to get more, tries to get a T-Jolt to get in, but the up B out of shield is going to be so good in that position. Back air not actually hitting, there's a down throw, try to get up air thunder, but no, the DI away, but you still get down it if that's the case. That's just a guarantee, if you're in that position, you actually have to DI uh, in for the down throw and then out for the up air, but then they might cross up the up air, which is very scary. The snooze, no, gonna miss! Pichu stood up and he's very small. Down throw, up air, back air, wow, that was crazy by Paul. And now Psych Up is online, so these moves will super kill. He's Omega buffed, and that's gonna kill. So even that huge lead for Black Twins off of that down throw, up air, down air, not going to matter. We have an even game, and that Accelerattle is going to make the down throw send farther, which means that that's not gonna be the combo. And Pichu, you need to make as much as you can from all of your openings. Down air? No. Went for an air, but didn't hit it. Able to get a whiff punish with the throw. Oh no, he messed up the auto-cancel back air so he doesn't get the back air loops. Dude, those are low keys so much harder than Pika's. It's crazy how people pretend like that's not the case. Dash attack does cross up though. The sizzle not hitting because Black Twins does not jump. No T-Jolt available because of that bounce. Also, no thunder available anymore. So, you know, you're not going to be able to do down throw up air thunder. Yeah, and he recognizes that a little too late. Gets the drag down there, but nothing from it. 80%. I actually don't remember if the... Yeah, no, the spike hitbox is definitely a, a projectile. The body hitbox isn't, but you're not going to be able to hit that. No. Oh, great SDI by Paul. Up the thunder? Oh, gets the air dodge read for the thunder, and that's going to be the game. Wow, what a game. That was crazy. Paul, not deterred. Running it back with Hero, not going Sephiroth. Sephiroth, Pichu, can't be good for Sephiroth. Um... 
I'm not a Sephiroth believer, by the way, Chad. So if you if you hear me say like, oh yeah, there's no way this is good for Sephiroth, it's because I don't think the character's good. But goes to Battlefield, which is going to make it a little bit more difficult for Pichu to kill, a little bit more difficult for him to get any of his Thunder confirms, and of course is going to give a lot of platforms. So make it difficult to approach for Paul, or sorry, to approach Paul for Black Twins. My bad. But at the same time, having these platforms is going to allow a small character like Pichu to just kind of run around without much threat. Like, defensively, this stage is so good for the rats. Um, so if... Oh, he doesn't get the Nair there. He doesn't even try. We have an even game, but an even game clearly is going to affect uh, Pichu more than it will Hero because of the ability for Hero to just get really early kills, especially with Psychop, which is now on line four. Paul, there's a zoom getting back to the stage. Back air across the stage, killing! Bad DI. Again, like... The fact that Paul gets these back airs is insane. Like, that's such a ballsy call out because Black Twins is literally in front of him the whole time and backs up and he still back airs because you expect someone to try to run under you. It's so smart and those are the type of plays that make Paul win these sets. I mean, that was a very early stock that shouldn't have necessarily killed, but the DI was very poor because why are you getting hit there? Like, why does it make sense for your opponent to back air you there? Spoilers, it doesn't. Okay, so it looks like, sorry, I think I'm tripping. I think that was just uh, back throw, and then it has like a little bit of like Pichu movement to the back towards like where you threw, and then with the dash, it just looked really weird. But that did look weird though. But gets a dash F tilt, that move is still good even after the nerf. <laughs> I was gonna say Black Twins is just looking to react to all these spells and then gets smacked in the face with a sizzle because again, it is so hard. Like no one reads as fast as Paul. Obviously, he's the one that has to do it more frequently, so it makes sense that he's a little bit better at, a little bit better at it. But like. He's always right. That narrow, not a lot of lag, so it's very hard to punish that, even in good positions like Black Twins had. A whack. Not going to get the kill, even with the miss input t jolt the wrong way. Very scary for Black Twins, but 64 to 74, not the biggest deficit. Is going to get up air, up air. Tries to get thunder. He gets it, but Pichu's thunder doesn't work super well when it comes to actually hitting your opponent in the falling situations, which is a little bit unfortunate there. t jolt not going to do anything because of that bounce as well, so the edge guarding is going to be a little bit harder for Black Twins, and that forward tilt is going to to get the kill all because the back air barely didn't hit shield um so it allowed Pichu to still or sorry it allowed Hero to still have his psych up that's going to be a punish this is exactly where it starts to snowball 26% from the side B and he tries to recover uh or sorry Paul tries to cover where the um you know quick attack or sorry the agility is going to go but doesn't quite get it but it is very scary for Black Twins right now 82% this is death percent for Pichu and suddenly it's just looking really bad from what looked like a great position for Black Twins is now a little bit unfortunate these fireballs also can combo into back air or forward air for the game and that is going to be it beast mode Paul with the 3-1 victory one set one of grand finals against Black Twins, one three two versus Riddles, and one the whole tournament gourmet bash three champion Central Florida Zone Beast Mode Paul. Let's go! He gets the trophy. That's right there. That's his trophy. Let's go! As always, thank you all for watching. Let me know who else you want me to watch next. Battle of BCs next weekend, so I'll be doing a preview for that tournament uh, in terms of all of their stuff. Beast Mode Dad in the background giving some high fives to his son. Oh, you missed it. This is Beast Mode Dad right there. So great stuff to Paul played so well. As always, social media stride and partner stuff is down below, and I will see you all next time. Peace.